Blog Talk Radio. Join us for today's episode of the Utopian Realities Slope Save Life on Planet Earth Blog Talk Radio Show, bringing you solution bearers with practical, proven, scientific ways to help you eliminate global level irradiation and extinction level threats from your body and bringing forward the means to restore and sustain global waters, air, soil, and sentient life. Welcome. Greetings all, this is Lisa Wolf, your host on the Utopian Reality Slope, Save Life on Planet Earth, Earth Aid show, bringing forward solution bearers with ways to address threats to global life and utopian solutions now, including artists whose music contributes to planetary healing, rejuvenation, and jubilation. We welcome today modern-day troubadour and music philosopher John Franklin Fletcher, a.k.a. Fletcher Soul Traveler, who engages the listener to ask questions of life and existence. At age 63, John's creative process reflects real-life experiences. He cherishes family, friendship, wisdom, and strives to think and live in a Renaissance way. Prolific, John has written and composed 1,000-plus songs in the past three years and has been known to write and compose up to seven songs in a single day. John's music spans such genres and influences as electronic, blues, and rock and roll to country, gospel, spiritual, Gregorian, New Age, classical, and opera. Growing up in idyllic Newport Beach, California, John came of age during the revolution of surfing and rock and roll with the constantly evolving music shaping him and his and subsequent generations. John believes in human potential and aspires towards excellence rather than perfection, as well as in the impossible being possible. He's led by a strong moral, ethical responsibility to leave a lasting legacy for generations to come by doing the right thing and by being a proper steward and custodian of the planet. Some of John's music is designed to listen to while sleeping, so at deep subconscious levels, positive messages of love, true self-hope, and the creator and willpower reach deepest levels of consciousness. John also welcomes accomplished vocalists and bands to collaborate and join in his message of love and hope and believes through music we can help make the world a better place for all. Truly a slow saving life on planet earth musician welcome john yeah thank you i appreciate it very kind words thank you so how are you today i feel great i feel honored to be on this show and uh and spread the message of of love and hope and and willpower for our audience well john tell us something about about your journey and your spiritual evolution that's brought you to this place of of devoting so much of your energy towards transformational healing music at this time. When I was 19 years old, I've always been a, a, a searcher. I've always, you know, felt that there's a place inside myself that is timeless, that is immortal, that is eternal, and I wanted to, you know, find that. So I have found a very simple solution when I was 19 years old. Um, I received what's known as, as knowledge. If, if people are interested in it, you go to wopg.org. That's wopg.org. And it's the essence of getting to that place inside yourself that's, that's true peace, that is not of this world. I very rarely talk about uh, the experience, which I won't go here. It's, you know, it's deeply private. I think, you know, every individual in this world, you know, needs to connect to that part of, the, of themselves that is 
you know, that is primal, that is eternal, that is endless, immortal. And that's what my, my music is about, to capture that part of ourselves, who we truly are. That's amazing. And so how do you work to ensure that the music has um, transformational um, capabilities um, in terms of the sound, the frequencies? Well, currently my music is in 444 hertz, which is healing your music. There's a substantial amount of a body of literature, uh, you know, for your musicians. But the primary place for me you know, to write music is to basically surrender and go to that deep, deep, deep part of myself that is, um, that is totally real. You know, it's not of this world. So we are, we are infinite you know, beings. So there's a place inside of ourselves that resides true peace. And that's where I try to, you know, come to basically, you know, humbly go to that place of deep subconscious, that place that is, that is true home. And that, and that's where I try to express myself through, you know, my music, you know, being in touch with that primal energy of who I am. And people can call that peace, they can call it God, you can call it creator, you can call it soul, uh, but it, it is more real than you know me talking to you it's the only thing that's real that experience of who we ultimately are so th- that's the place that i uh you know surrender myself to and go to for my music and then then i i can feel magic you know happens i basically I write music for myself because it's it's such a deep intimate expression and it, it, if anyone likes it then that's just an additional gift of just you know, inspiring, you know, people in this world that there's something gorgeous, magnificent, amazing with this life. And true knowledge, knowing who you are, uh, is the ultimate gift as far as I'm concerned. It's the ultimate reality. So what is your, so are you writing basically every day then? Is this when I get part inspired. of your daily practice? Mm-hmm. Uh, I try to, I mean, when I'm, uh, sometimes my work schedule prohibits that, but, you know, I've been known to write up to seven, you know, songs a day, and it it's, becomes effortless. And I would, you know, suggest anyone, I'm, I'm a huge promoter of the arts. Uh, I'm a late bloomer. I just started, you know, writing music three years ago. I never thought I had, you know, musical ability. And it's just the process of, just letting go and and you know, getting in touch to that place of yourself that is, you know, totally creative, that is totally you know conscious. So, I encourage anyone to, you know, to, to find something that you love, and let that, you know, that passion drive you. So I believe in excellence, you know, mind, body, and spirit. And, and music is so. A- what is so what's your vision going forward, John, for the music? And and also, um, I wanted to let you speak about um, the other work that you're doing for the planet. This is um, part of a multifaceted path that you're on. It is. Um, first of all, I believe in excellence. I believe that we should be stewards of the arts and stewards of the science and stewards of, of capital and be able to, you know, you know, collectively all we're living on this blue planet and it's a precious, you know, uh, you know, a precious opportunity for all of us you know, to actually, you know, live life. And I've, I've noticed a lot of people don't live life. And so what my message is and what I try to do in my work, I have, uh, a company that is looking uh, into developing a global platform in uh, next generational you know, wellness. And we're looking at epigenic wellness from a 
from the building standpoint, where we want to certify the epigenic wellness of a building, we want to then monitor. So 95 to 98 percent of these conditions are from epigenetics, and our platform and is designing to to monitor the internal environment of a building so that we can create a biosphere, we can create an environment for optimal cellular function and optimal uh, you know, function on a cellular and cell subcellular level so that all the participants, all the inhabitants of these buildings, you know, maintain uh, a healthy lifestyle, health, like a complete health. So we'll, we'll have doctors for telemedicine, uh, uh, doctors that specialize in functional medicine and epigenetic wellness to increase the lives of anyone that is in our system. And please, for the listeners, could you go into some depth on what epigenet epigenic means? It's a very simple thing is that any environmental factor that can switch on and off your gene and that can have a positive or negative effect on your genetics and on health uh, you know, outcomes. So typically, you know, we are looking at, you know, from air, water, uh, you know, food, the energy, we're looking at an entire collective you know, biosphere of, you know, technologies and one of the things we're addressing is collectively the actual building itself where you've got substantial environmental issues around the world in buildings and in homes. Um, 90, 95, I'll repeat myself again, 95 to 98% of illness conditions stem from environmental conditions. So we're looking at, you know, what can we do to negate those negative influence and be a, create a positive environmental atmosphere for optimal living. So and this is a how, huge... Go ahead. And how can um, people get involved in that aspect of your work, John? They could initially send me uh, you know, an email. My, my site got compromised. Uh, I had five sites, and all five sites got compromised. So I'm, I'm redoing my sites and getting additional IT people. There's a you know, major complaint that people are on the cutting edge. Sometimes, you know, there are outside groups that don't like what you're doing. So my suspicion is I got five sites you know, taken down. So I'm in the you know, realm right now to uh, be able to set these sites up. The company, uh, you know, so someone can send me an email to hegroup at gmail.com. I, I would uh, be able to easily respond back to them and be able to you know, tell them where we're going. Um, we're working on a platform, a global platform for major corporations, self-insured companies, uh, major you know, government entities on next generational you know, wellness. And we're focusing on, from a, a building standpoint, it could be from universities, it could be hospitals, uh, it could be schools. Uh, and then we're looking at from the aspect of how we can improve optimal cellular function on a cellular and subcellular level. If, if a person has 100% cellular function, by definition, there's no disease. So we're looking at you know, how mind, body, and spirit, how we can really engage a person for optimal health. And I think it's, you know, the future is extreme, extremely exciting. We could potentially, as, you know, we as a group, uh, this is uh, a game changer. This is where uh, we need to take our lives for, you know, optimal health. So that's what this focus is. Well, John, we're going, to, we're going to take a few minutes to listen to uh, one of your compositions, Diamond in the Sky, and then we'll come back to talk more about 
the solutions and the music. Thank you. You're welcome. The diamond in the sky No two diamonds are alive You are created to be unique Bring out your true self Diamond in the sky Be one with your true self Diamond in the sky Be one with your truth you John yesterday you know I was teaching yesterday and I actually uh, had your music playing for much of the day in the background Mm -hmm. while the children were working on things and they loved it they asked me to keep it playing Uh, I had uh, your music up on YouTube Um, and listeners um, you can listen to um, John's music. John, will you um, name the website for them where they can go to to uh, yes, uh, John, listen and buy your music? Yeah, John Franklin Fletcher dot com or John Fletcher Music dot com. Wonderful. 
Wonderful. I'm, so, I'm very in touch with the kids, you know, like the music. Um, it's, you know, it's very, uh, you know, inspiring for me. I've, I have tears in my eyes just knowing that, you know, kids, you know, are, they can, they can feel in their hearts. They can feel, you know, the, uh, the innocence of, of that, of that energy. And, and so I'm, I'm very, you know, touched that, uh, you know, that the kids were, you know, they could feel, you know, where that energy is coming from. Well, I really appreciated it because they can be rather a rambunctious bunch, this particular group, and they just work totally calmly and work together yeah. there was no fighting. <laughs> <laughs> it was wonderful. It was wonderful. Um, That's beautiful. So tell me... Tell me more, John, about your vision for the for the future and your hopes and and what you see going forward but, but, ideally. By the by the very essence, you know, I, I believe the darkest creature can turn to light. You have until you know your last breath to be able to have the opportunity to feel you know the preciousness of life. And so I, I have an incredible, you know, hope that, you know, light w- will always prevail. All darkness is, is absence of light and so, just about, you know, consciousness. So even in so-called, you know, enemies, I've gone through so much in my lifetime and, you know, so much, uh, you know, heartache and, and so many different, you know, issues. And I, I just see that it's just a period, of, it, it's just about a consciousness that, Every human being, you know, at some point, that time of reckoning inside your being, what is it about life? And so my music is, you know, writing from that point. You know, we have such an amazing opportunity to live life. And, and a lot of people, we, you know, we forget about it. And so that, that's what my, my message, message is. You know, we have a, a legacy as as you know, citizens of global Earth to basically, you know, come together because we're, we're one tribe, we're one world. And amazing things can happen. One and one are two, they make 11. And that compounds as we you know, get together. So I, I believe in, you know, the, the, the power of the human spirit. And if each one of us finds our own passion and every day, you know, follow that passion, whatever it is. This world, you know, in a blink of an eye can change because there's, in reality, there's no governments. There's just people. So at the end of the day, the collective consciousness of people, we are the messengers of change. We have to change inside ourselves. No one's going to do it for us. So my music, my vision is to be able to collectively even work with my so-called enemies. Because in reality, the only enemy we have is, you know, is doubt or is our darkness, is our hatred. And we bring it upon ourselves rather than, you know, getting to that point of, you know, coming from a place of love. Yes, you have to, you know, you know, I have a friend of mine that passed away, this dear friend, Edward. He had a saying, you know, trust in God, but lock your doors. Yeah, you've got to be protecting yourself in this world. But at the same time, never underestimate that the impossible can become possible. And that's just by doing every single day. If we move forward as a, as a whole, we can make amazing changes in this world because it takes one person at a time to change. And if we all do that, God, what amazing life we have. And we already have amazing life. So I, I just try to every day... You know, just quietly go inside and recognize, wow, I've been given life. So one of the things I always say, since the beginning of time, and my songs are write this up all the time, since the beginning of space and time, which is a long time ago, we are able to have this conversation, you know, Lisa and I and, and, and the audience. We're alive and we have the consciousness to be alive right now and yes. able to feel yes. That power of life, you know, that's I, there's no greater miracle than that. Quite honestly, to be able that 
that superior being has given us the consciousness, and we're in this three-dimensional you know, space and time on Earth, and we're in this you know, crazy talk show talking with each other, and we could talk about something that's so amazing, that's immortal, that's eternal, and that's life itself. And our true yeah. selves is that. Yeah. So it doesn't get any better oh. in my eyes, does it? Yes. Thank you, John. I hope you'll join us again, and thank you for being part of Slow. Uh, to learn more about John's music, again, visit johnfletchermusic.com. And to learn how to become part of the Utopian Reality Slope Earth Aid Mission, contact White Buffalo Nation at gmail.com and visit wbnslope.weebly.com and our White Buffalo Nation Facebook page and support the Slope Mission at gofundme.com backslash slope. Join us again tomorrow, Saturday, May 28th, at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time when we visit with Reverend Ralph Bucatola, J.D., about genomicidal threats and how to protect from DNA mutation. And Sunday, May 29th, at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, when our guest will be Professor John R.R. R. Searle, the godfather of free energy, speaking freely for the first time in two years. And we're going to close with um, John's piece, One God. Thank you, John. Thank you. My pleasure.
love of God is inside us. Whatever happens to in God, we trust. When do we say enough is enough? The insanity just has to stop. Temple of God is inside us. Whatever happens to in God, we trust. Regardless of religion, cast on our free. We are one, living on this planet together. Why can't we just get along? Together, let's save life on planet Earth. That's yours, mine, and all of ours. On and in the land, waters, and air. Thanks for joining us. Till next time, this is Lisa Wolf for Slope. Save life on planet Earth. Earth Aid Now. Thank you, John. You're welcome. Thank you. It was a pleasure. <laughs>